What's going on everybody, Adachi here, and today we're going to be looking at Spongebob Krusty Cook-Off, and this is a game that is apparently, from what I've read, similar to a game called like Diner Dash or something like that. I've never really touched games like this before. Any kind of licensed title or any games that typically isn't like some kind of an RPG aspect. But I don't know, I thought why not, let's try it out and give it a look and see what this game is like. What it's gotcha is like, that's right, this does have a gotcha. And kind of all the system mechanics going on with it, so I've been playing it for, I don't know, a couple hours. And let's just start off with some gameplay. So the gameplay seems pretty straightforward. I don't think I've really gotten much else going on with it, but you just go into these different levels and as you clear them, you're going to go up to the next level and you gain money and other things. And there's other conditions. There's some items down here that you can use that will give you benefits. Like this one makes it so all of my cook times are turned to zero. And basically all these customers are going to come up and we're going to... Uh, okay, it doesn't, no, can't burn any food. So, we're gonna go ahead and all these customers are gonna come up, they're gonna come up with an order, there's gonna be a little timer that says, uh, basically how long it'll take before they're not happy, and then they will leave. So, you can see their order's there, we go ahead and cook some pancakes here. You're cooking pancakes, not Krabby Patties here. We all, they also want some coffee sometimes. And we go ahead and give them the ingredients that they want. These continue to get unlocked as you progress to kind of add to the difficulty of the game. You can see there, go ahead and fill out these orders. Now she wants some of that purple jelly. Some people want the coffee. This is like a separate thing that I have to like wait on a timer for, for this stuff to actually come out. Uh-oh. We, uh, we got quite the order here. Let's hope I don't mess this up. There we go. And once again, the condition here is I can't burn any food. This is the goal of money that I have to make in the day. This is kind of hard to focus and talk at the same time. It shows how many customers are left, and I don't know what the timer is for. But there is a timer as well. So we didn't burn anything, luckily. I think we satisfied all the customers. And also these cookies here, and you can give a customer a cookie, so that way their little uh, upset meter will refill. That way it'll give you a little more time. Something I've noticed as you continue to progress through the levels though, it does get a little more difficult and it does require you to get these kitchen upgrades that you will get in one of these stores. So we'll take a look at the kitchen upgrades next since these seem to be one of the most important pivotal kind of mechanics of the game is actually getting your upgrades in and not so much the gacha, unfortunately seeing as how I'm a, I'm a big fan of the gachas. There is a little bit of a story going on, there's not a whole lot of story but I do like the live 2D they've uh, went ahead and put into this game. There's some nice emotions in here, they've got a nice, nice range of motion as well. Uh, Squidward over here has needed some peace and quiet, so he's trying to trick Spongebob into leaving his little pancake stand. So that way he can go on some fake jellyfishing hunt. Yeah, he's just real grumpy right now. Uh, they also have some cameos of some, uh, some, some classics, like the, the one guy who really likes the chocolate. And there you go, perfect. There's a... As we get into this shop, one complaint, I have a few, but we'll just kind of go as I, as I come across them. There's a lot of pop-ups in this game. Like, in between every level, there's like a million pop-ups. And it's not necessarily just, like, advertising to, like, sell you things. There's just a lot of pop-ups for a lot of, like, different things going on in the game. Here you can see here my plates are completely maxed out. I have a total of four. You start off with two, and I think they force you to, like, get one upgrade to get three plates. And now I've got that upgrade to four plates. And it's very important to upgrade all your appliances. So this is like my coffee maker, this is my grill. So I can go ahead and get one more grill top. So I can grill four pancakes at a time. And this is a coffee machine, so I can make more coffee at once. And it also speed up how fast the coffee is made. And then the other upgrades here is just to uh, give more value to all the ingredients that we have. So you'll get money based on like what you sell. And if you upgrade these, you're gonna get more money. So that way you can throw it back into here to buy either some kitchen upgrades to add more value into your ingredients. You can also buy interior decor and exterior decor here. The exterior decor adds pearls and I think these pearls, like if you reach however many pearls it asks you to every day, you're gonna get like a certain amount of gems every day. And then the interior, I think it's uh, just for more money. Yeah, so you just get more money if you go ahead and get these and then you unlock uh, some of these other ones at further levels which you just have to play more and more in order to get your level ups. So we went over the basic gameplay. This is the, uh, this is kind of like the main hub area. I do like that it's like, it shows off the actual like outside of the, the pancake stand and how you can decorate it and whatnot. And let's see what else we can look at from here. I don't know how to access this pearl menu. It says I have a notification here. I assume I have some gems to pick up there. 
got some news, some social medias here. And then over here, I'm not really sure. This is like, yeah, this is like uh, what it wants me to do in this story. So, and then I unlock rewards as I continue to progress through that. This one I'm not sure either, but I'm... Oh, it's the amount of customers you serve. So just by playing the game, you're going to get these rewards as you serve those amount of customers. All right, Bargain Mart, I think that's where we were just were. Yep, okay, so let's see what else we can look at. Achievements. I don't think I've gotten a lot of achievements. I haven't claimed any of these yet, so let's go ahead and claim them now. Yeah, just two gems. Although there was a login reward for logging in every day for a week, and I got like 20 gems. And I think that's half the amount it takes to actually get a pull in. This is a leaderboard, which is, I think it's like a fake leaderboard. It might be a real one, I'm not entirely sure, but once you, there's different leagues, and you get up, and every time you get up to the next rank, you're going to get some more rewards. I think it's just like gems or something. I'm not really sure. I've gotten like a couple of rewards, but I don't exactly remember all those. Oh, I do not know what I clicked now. Oh, wow. I actually didn't know that I could go out of the pancake stand. So this one is actually new to me. So it looks like you start off with the pancake stand. It looks like we're probably going to upgrade and start making some Krabby Patties and go to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's still quite a bit to see here. So there's a lot more to progress. So I'm just here at the pancake stand right now. Looks like the next area I unlock is the Krusty Krab, and then after that I'm going to get a barbecue, so there's more layers of progression, and it's going to, I assume, mix up the gameplay and probably complicate it just a little more. To kind of up and increase the difficulty there, so let's go ahead and go back into it. Okay, that's cool, I didn't know that that was a thing. I thought I was literally just going to be making pancakes this entire time. Uh, over here, this cookie thing is, uh, it's like on a timer, where you can collect cookies every so often. Those cookies, like I said, are to basically just help you not piss off your customers. And you can speed this up with gems, which I probably would highly recommend you don't do. You can upgrade it with gems as well, or you can get some by watching ads. There is also another thing I don't like, is once you play a certain amount of levels, you get a forced ad every here and there. Uh, luckily, every time that's happened, though, I can just like press the back button, and then I don't have to actually watch the ad. I can just skip over it, so that's a nice little thing. Alright, and where is the gotcha now? There is a gotcha, I just don't... Is it here? Okay, it's here. So we get one daily pull free based on the banner, so I think this is just kind of like the standard one that's always here. We get one free daily pull here, it shows you the rates right here. There is no legendary in the basic one, but you can get a character? A character? Oh, I didn't know you could pull characters as well. Or uh, these various rarities here. I don't think the costumes actually do anything, I think it is legitimately just cosmetics. So that's one nice thing, of course these pulls are super expensive, so I would recommend just focusing on your upgrades first and then worry about the gacha itself. And you can see we have these different banners going on, and it shows you how much longer is left on the banner itself. Uh, here you can look at like the different pieces that you can end up getting, and you get these dollars, I think, from pulling on the gacha. And the find ones, you have to get them out of the, uh, the gacha itself. And up here just shows me the ones that I already have unlocked, like I've got this Spongicus armor right here, and through the story I was able to unlock Patrick. I don't have any outfits for him, unfortunately. And then it says, yeah, so I unlock Squidward by pulling him and Sandy, it looks like, by pulling as well. So let's go ahead and do this free daily pull. See what we get. Maybe I can get a, I don't think you can get a legendary, but hopefully like a purple or something. Whatever's like the rarest I can get out of the basic one. Oh, snap! I got Squidward. Perfect. I don't know if I really want Squidward, but cool. Now I have three characters unlocked. Neato. If I hit the check, does that mean I equip that character? I'm going to equip Patrick, even though we just pulled Squidward. Sick. Unfortunately, Squidward's not here in the pancake stand right now, but he is unlocked now. So that's the gacha itself. Like I said, nothing really tied to the costumes itself. It's it's literally just cosmetics there. And then the pricing, I think I've seen a lot of other games kind of do this. More games that are like not so much like kind of MMO light type games, but they have like very standard pricing, which is like from cheap to Jesus. Uh, children should not be spending this much money on this game, especially considering every pull is 400. And, or not 400, sorry, four, actually 40, wow, that's a, that's a lot of pulls right there, never mind. And then you can buy all the various boosters with gems, again, I would focus on the upgrades first, in fact, I'd probably skip over <laughs> these boosters and whatnot. I feel like this game, as it progresses though, there was one time, or a couple of times, where the customers kept ordering like a bunch, a bunch, just a bunch of coffee, and I didn't have an upgraded coffee machine yet. But I feel like as you progress in the game, you're, it's going to become more forced to actually clear some quests by actually using the boosters, and then having your full upgrade. So I assume these are the upgrades I'm going to get for now in the pancake area, and then I'll have like a whole different shop once I move on from the pancake area to the next area and whatnot. So it seems like there's still a lot of game here left for you. I think this is great for the kids. 
Nah, not too bad. I do think the ads are a little atrocious. Oh, and one more thing that I do have a problem with is... I think, like, every 10 to 15 minutes of playing, the game will end up crashing on me, which I don't like. Or I shouldn't say crashing. It freezes, and then nothing happens after that. So you kind of have to force close and go back in. So, a little buggy. Uh, I don't like the ads that it forces you to watch. But overall, I gotta say, the gameplay is pretty straightforward, pretty solid, and nice, uh... Pretty, at least for me. It's been a pretty relaxing game. And if you're really into the franchise, I think this is a fine pick up the gacha itself. If you're wanting to, you know, go for a nice heavy gacha, uh, this game probably isn't for you. I mean, it is just cosmetics, and it doesn't even seem like there's a lot, really. Yeah, I think it's just like you have a ch like there's like uh, specific ones that are on these banners here that you can get, but then you can still get everything else that's out or that's in the uh, kind of standard pool at least. But yeah, that is SpongeBob Krusty Cookoff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you in the next one.